Hello, hello, this is Minecralix here, and today I am reviewing Half-Life from Steam. This is a very, very fun game. It has both a multiplayer and um, um, single player. It also has a training room where you can learn how to play the game. Um, basically, this game is... Um, it was released in 1998, so that makes this game 18 years old. And as you can see, the graphics aren't the best. But what can you expect from 1998 graphics? It has an HEV suit that, when you put on, it um, basically displays your stats, such as health, brawn. It has a flashlight activated by F. Um, the game... Mostly everything in the game is um, cubed because graphics weren't that good back 18 years ago. So this game is not the best in graphics. But at the same time, it is very fun to play and it is probably the most played game that is older than, um, than 2000. Because most games, there are many games that were made in 2010 that are now forgotten. But this game was made in 1998 and is still not forgotten. Very many people played, especially on servers. Because like before I said, it also has a multiplayer as well. Um, and the training course is extremely easy. But I guess it was created for people who did not know how to play computer games. Because frankly, in 1998, there were many people who were new to video games. So, the training course is very, very easy. And I can do it very easily. And probably most players can also. There won't be any issues with new players not knowing how to play this game because there's a very good training course which I'm going through right now. The game has a price tag of $15. Um, no, actually, uh, excuse me, it's actually $9.99, so that's $10. Which is very little for a game like that. Although, um, it could be more. But on the other hand, all of those Call of Duty games, like, Black Ops 3 costs usually $60 or so, so it's very cheap. Um, and uh, this game is extremely fun to play because it is. Um, I have been playing it since my childhood. It's a very staple game. It's probably one of the first first-person shooters that I have ever played. Uh, well, enough of this now, because I'm getting bored of playing the tutorial, and it is just simply too easy for me. Um, I also want to demonstrate out the the multiplayer. Um, and it seems that I can't disconnect out of this, so... Oh yeah, um, it also has um, single player, which is very, very popular, and many, many people play it. This, this has very ma many memories embedded in me because it's a very personnel. old game. I have played it many, many the times. Time eight, it has an amazing eight, interface, um, top side really beautiful, um, even though they're cubed, I can still see all of these, um, all of these, like, uh, laboratories, and I, I could see how they tried to capture the feel of a secret base in New Mexico. So, basically, the storyline of this game is when, um, is when Gordon Freeman, which is the guy you're playing for, is inside a facility that somehow discovers aliens and opens up a portal, and then eventually the military come in and try to shoot all of the scientists to try to not have them speak of a secret, of a government secret. Uh, so they try to keep it in secret, but it's very hard, and they kill off many scientists. And Gordon Freeman is basically going around Black Mesa in this world. Uh, now I'm going to demonstrate multiplayer, but it seems that I can't disconnect without closing the window, so I'll just have to um, tape the videos together. Hello guys, I'm back, and now I'm going to demonstrate multiplayer on this game. As you can see, there is an amazing variety of servers on this game, and many of the servers are modded in um, some kind of Half-Life CE, AG Arena, AG TDM, and just all simp all types of mods can be fi found in here. There's even uh, real servers, Russia or HL Team Play, which is a uh, 
basically Half-Life modded to look like Team Fortress Classic. Well, more on that later, but as you can see, there is an amazing variety of servers. I can always play on servers and never run out of new servers to play on. So let's see a server that I can join on, someone that is a vanilla server, for example. Let's go on to this Crossfire server. Now, there is very many people playing on this game and it's pretty popular. As you can see, I'm already being killed. Um, the interface is really amazing, and it's, it, it never gets boring to play this game. It's, it, it is very something else. It has an amazing variety of different weapons that can either one-shot kill but need incredible accuracy, such as the Gauss gun. I'm not exactly that good in multiplayer, multiplayer but I'm not very bad either. I haven't really killed anyone yet. Oh, actually, yes, I have. Um, it's a very hectic game. There are a lot of people who have played the game for uh, 10 years. There's a lot of pros on the game, definitely, so don't expect to own anyone on the server until you have at least little experience with it. Um, this is probably the most played game in the... Um, this is probably the most played uh, map in... Oh, and as you can see, I got sniped there. Um, it has these little uh, weapons that just recharge. Like, this is an alive weapon which can somehow be recharged. And wow, I just killed somebody with a Gauss gun. That is pretty epic. And yes, I got killed. Uh, it has an incredible variety of servers, and you will never run out of what to play. I give this game probably a 10 out of 10, but my review is definitely biased because I have played the game for a long time and it's, it's, uh, most people actually love the game, it's very, very popular. Um, uh, so I give this game 10 out of 10, I rated the highest score, uh, because it, I have more than hundreds of hours on it, I have probably somewhere around 110 or so hours on this game. I love playing it, and I encourage anyone interested in this game to buy it also. So, thank you very much. This is my Kralix, and I'm out. See you in the next video.